my Fujifilm X100 6 full frame killer and it's a decent package let me share with you my experience about this now hi there and welcome to my channel my name is Tudor Matescu and in this video I want to share with you my thoughts when I've bought the above package and I've said okay I will not keep my money for X106 and I will go with a full frame camera so if you are in content like this please subscribe now 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 to my channel and also check my newsletter link in comments and description for more photography tips and tricks I have here Leica MP with a 35 mm lens pancake lens Voigtlander lens and another camera for comparison XT30 Mark II with the pancake lens from Fujifilm 27mm f2.8 Mark II. I've always showed in my videos that XT30 Mark II with the pancake Fujifilm lens is smaller than X106. So we have the big Leica and the small Fujifilm camera. One is full frame, one is APS-C. So first of all regarding size, you are able to see clearly that the lenses are very small and the Voigtlander full frame lens 35mm f2.5 color scopar mark II it is smaller smaller than 27mm f2.8 Fujifilm lens and I will tell you immediately regarding image quality what this lens can do and I will compare for my experience this lens with the Fujifilm X106 X100V lens that I've used for many years and I will tell you my impressions but regarding size you are able to see that the full frame lens it is smaller yes it's not weather sealed and yes it doesn't have AF but the manual focusing on Leica is perfection perfection so I really don't have problems in nailing the AF for street photography in uh, sunny days or cloudy days and also indoors it is really perfection it is very easy to get accustomed and I don't have years in using a Leica I've used this Leica just over two months and probably one month just Leica and I'm pretty okay with the AF I am able to take it wherever I want so I'm not an experienced user but the manual focusing on Leica it's so good that it can replace a lens that doesn't have such great AF and this is also the case with the Voigtlander 27mm f2 that I've made reviews on this channel so regarding manual focusing and AF between these two bodies and between X100V I feel that you are still there and uh, I'm liking more the Leica way because uh, you are more intentional when you want to take the picture you are more intentional the Fuji way it is great for family pictures when you have kids and you don't have time and uh, when you have small kids and you don't have time to use the manual focusing options and you aren't accustomed yet with manual focusing so if you are a new photographer that doesn't have experience in in manual focusing and you have small kids that will not let you alone to do your craft then yes you really need AF but it's again pretty easy to master the manual focusing with a Leica camera not with a Fujifilm camera with a Leica camera because it's dedicated for this it's dedicated it's not like adapting a manual focusing lens on a Fujifilm regarding focusing acquisition between this bodies I feel that they are pretty equal and again yes it depends from user to user next let's talk about image quality on Fujifilm X106 you have a 40 megapixel sensor and depending on the Leica body that you'll choose you'll have a 26 full frame sensor or 46 if you are choosing M10R or 60 megapixel if you are choosing M11 but uh, depending on the budget if you'll go with an M240 that I really recommend because we'll get to the color part and to the rendering part uh, the sensor is amazing the colors are amazing so my choice it is Leica M240 MP a newer version compared to Leica M240 the images that I get from this sensor are outstanding yes I don't have the latest dynamic range and yes I have big penalties regarding exposure settings so you must really have experience as a photographer to make the right decision when it comes to exposure but other than that 
the images are really really great as I'm showing on the screen. Other than that, other than dynamic range, ISO performance that it's not great, again it's not great. You are penalized to ISO 6200 by night, you have bending and you have all kinds of problems. But if you know photography, if you want to know photography, if you love painting with light, Leica MP it is for you, Leica M full frame it is for you. With a Fujifilm camera you can snap it and snap it and take pictures, but this is it, this is it. Another point uh, that it's important to address it is the lens resolving power. On Leica you have many 35mm options that will assure you you'll be able to resolve the megapixels of your sensor. In this case the 35mm f2 0.4 from Voigtlander, it is amazing, it's resolving the sensor without problems. Next let's talk about portraits, portraits between X106, X100V lens and Leica with a 35mm f2.4 color scopar lens. So this was my biggest problem when I've decided to go with f2.4 on full frame. I said mm, I don't know, I'm at the limit but uh, it's not like on other full frame system, the lenses, these small lenses with such a great micro contrast to them, with such great rendering, with such great out of focusing areas, with such great bokeh, they are rendering totally different from an f2.4 Sony lens, totally, totally different and the portraits are really, really amazing. I didn't have enough time to make uh, more portraits but they are stunning from what I was able to see. I've made more portraits with other Leica lenses that I will talk in other videos so please subscribe for my channel because I have an amazing Leica lens that is just an f2.4 lens also but you'll be astounded when you see the images and what a Leica lens can do for you. This is a cheap Voigtlander lens. So this cheap Voigtlander lens it has great micro contrast, great 3D pop, great rendering. So regarding portraits yes I do feel that the full frame lens it's rendering better portraits than my X100V, X106 lens. So this is a big deal because from time to time I want to take portraits so this is important. The next thing that I want to address is weight and size, weight and size. When you'll get a Leica MP240 you'll be able to see that the body is a little thicker, a little bit chunkier. M10 and M11 aren't so chunkier and also aren't so heavier and also they don't have the same body weight but M240 with M10 have similar body weight. So the Leica body in this case is 680 grams and the lens is very light uh, but, but this is where the things come into practice and this is why you must have experience in putting your hands on the camera bodies and lenses so you can judge for yourself not just from a spec sheet, not just from a YouTuber that is telling you data. No, you need experience, you don't need data, you really need to put your hands on both of these two cameras. So the big advantage of the Leica, even if on paper it's much heavier than X106, is that the body is staying so well with a light lens that it's another discussion in your hand. So I have here the Leica MP240 with the Voigtlander lens. It's amazing in the hand, the weight is so well balanced. I've always complained about X-T5 with the pancake lens that I'm not liking it for my wrist. It's Again the weight it's not balanced like it's balanced the M240, the Leica MP240. So this is a huge difference, this is why I'm telling you you must take this in your hand and experience how it's staying in your hand. Even if on paper the body and lens are heavier than an X106 and probably heavier than X-T5 in hand and in real world use it's the same and I would say that it's even better, it's even better and I'll tell you immediately why it's even better and I'll show you proof of this. So why it's better? Because you don't have that front heaviness of your lens and uh, I didn't thought that this matter so much till I've used a Leica and yes it matters, having a heavier body that is staying very well in hand with a small light lens it's another ergonomic level, it's another experience level of taking pictures. First of all it's better because having this weight 
You don't need IBIS to take steady shots. You really don't need IBIS. I'm able with the Leica MP240 to take steady shots at 1 over 30 seconds, 1 over 20 seconds without problems indoors. And 1 over 60 seconds, no problems at all. And I was really, really amazed when I was able to see because of the aperture that I needed to lower my shutter speed, but I was able to see that my shots aren't moved by my hand. So this stability because of the weight and how the body is built, it's another, another story. It's really another story. The next point is that it's helping you take straighter pictures. So I'm not a person that is able to take very straight pictures, unfortunately. But uh, with like I'm taking straighter pictures because the balancing of the body, it's another story. So it really matters. I don't know if it's uh, easy for me to transmit this in a YouTube video because you aren't able to feel yourself. But this body that is very light, it's very easy to not keep it straight, but this is easier. And also this body XT30, it is balanced with this lens. XT5, it's so and so. Also, it's the case with X100 V and 6. Yes, X100 V, it's a balanced camera and X106 are balanced cameras, but uh, they are still acting like a snap shooting machine. And this is the next reason that you really must pay attention to this reason because it's a psychological reason. And this psychological reason that I will not enter in many details explaining it, it's stating that when you use a camera that is heavier and it has a metal feel to it, you'll be in another state of taking pictures. Compared with a camera that is lighter, it has a plastic feeling and it's acting more like a snap shooting machine. So this is a more precise tool and you feel this in your hand. You feel this in the operation of the camera body and lens. It is requiring you to be precise. This, the X100V, X106 cameras, and also the XT30, XE line cameras, and so on, aren't tools that are forcing you to be precise. And this is influencing how you will think about composition. And this is what I was able to observe, that when I'm using AF cameras and Fujifilm cameras, my pictures aren't well composed as are with the Leica cameras. And now this is taking me to the next point. With X106, with X100V cameras, I was taking more pictures that I'm taking with Leica cameras. And this is another proof that yes, a smaller camera with AF that doesn't have so much weight to it, it will not make me help think about composition so well like a truly dedicated camera. So if you are in photography, I would say that the Leica MP240 with a 35 meters f2.4 Voigtlander color scoper lens, it's a better better choice if you are just in photography. If you want more snap shooting pictures, then yes, X100V, X106 is for you and it's ideal for family pictures. So in conclusion, which camera is for you regarding also the price? The M240 MP can be bought around $2,500, $3,000, depending on what you offer, you'll find. Also, you'll need to buy a second battery and this lens. So probably let's say the maximum cost will be around $3,500. An X106 new without accessories, without accessories and without a second battery and so on, will be around $1,800 if you are able to find it brand new from the store. If you'll buy it online, the price will be bigger for the moment, so around $2,000 with accessories around $2,200. So overall, the difference between prices is, let's say, $1,000 and $1,200 maximum, maximum. So regarding price and image quality and image quality, so just price and image quality, my advice is that Leica, it's a better choice because the image quality, it's outstanding. You have the option to change lenses, small lenses, put better lenses, and you have many options. And the image quality, it's outstanding. The ergonomics, it's truly a Leica rangefinder ergonomics and not just wannabe rangefinder camera like it's X106. I didn't felt X106 and X100V, X100 series cameras like rangefinder cameras. No, the only camera that I feel it's a rangefinder acting camera from Fujifilm, it's X-Pro3, X-Pro2 and probably X-Pro1. But X100V, 
X100 6 series are snap shooting cameras, like Ricoh cameras. You'll not use that optical viewfinder too much. So this is why my advice is that if you want a rangefinder camera, a stylish camera, a camera that will blow your mind regarding image quality, then I feel like it's deserving the extra price, even if it's an older camera. The image quality that you'll get, it's really, really outstanding. Now regarding service and repairs, Again, it depends from country to country. And also with Fujifilm, you have this kind of problems. In my city, I have the option to repair my Leica and to calibrate my Leica and to get things done. But with Fujifilm, I must send it in warranty and so on. Also, I can repair all the Fujifilm cameras. So it really depends if you have service in your area or not. But regarding image quality and what you'll get, Leica, it's a really big deal and I feel that if you are on a budget and you don't have the chance to have both two cameras, my advice is go to Leica. But if you are a family guy and if you want pictures for your family and if you want to take snap pictures and if you don't want to think too much about composition and too much about that rangefinder fuss and too much of uh, using an optical viewfinder, then my advice is go with Fujifilm X106. X100V even better because you don't need the 40 megapixel resolution, you don't need the IBIS and you don't need a lens that it's barely resolving the 40 megapixel sensor, how I've showed in my next videos. So if you want to see how the X106 lens is resolving the 40 megapixel sensor, please check the next video and judge for yourself if you must invest so much money in a camera with a lens that it's barely resolving the 40 megapixel sensor. So if you're liking content like this, please subscribe now, now to my channel, leave me your comments, check my newsletter, check my affiliate links if you want to buy something from Amazon and also share my videos with your friends.